My name is Jack and I'm Dr. Amanda Noel's Twin Flame and today I'm going to be talking from the masculine perspective why the masculine is breadcrumbing and how to know when he is awakened. So the energy of breadcrumbing and stringing you along is not the highest vibrational energy of the masculine. Today I'm going to be going in great detail on why the masculine is behaving this way. First off, when I talk about masculine energy and feminine energy, I'm not talking about genders, I'm just talking about energy. We all have both of those energies inside of us. If I say he, I'm just referring to the masculine energy. So if you have a masculine in your life right now who is breadcrumbing you, leaving you feeling wondering, wishing, worrying. I'm gonna to explain to you why he does this and what he's probably experiencing. If he's breadcrumbing you, then he's probably either one, not interested and he's just leading you on. Maybe he just wants a quick hookup. He's not in it for the long haul, but he's really, he's not man enough to be honest with you and just tell you his true feelings. Or number two, he is interested He's just not sure how to handle your connection. There's a lot of emotions that are coming up for him. Maybe he's confused. So he's probably processing your connection and he just needs some time. So in this case, your connection with him is so strong that it is triggering his own insecurities. It's bringing up these feelings that he doesn't understand. So he feels confused up here and the masculine never wants to feel confused because he wants to be certain in his direction. He wants to know where he's going. He wants to be on his purpose. He wants to be conquering the things that he needs to conquer in his life. But now that he's met you, it's a bit distracting or maybe a lot distracting. And he, maybe he's thinking about you a lot when he doesn't necessarily want to. It's distracting him from his career, his mission. He probably can't put his finger on why he has so many emotions around you. There's the conscious mind, the things that he's aware of, and then there's the subconscious. Now, emotions live in the subconscious, so oftentimes we are not aware when these kinds of emotions come up. And for that reason, he needs more time to become more aware, to process these deep feelings, maybe these deep insecurities, which by the way is really uncomfortable for the masculine. The masculine never wants to feel vulnerable because that feels like he's weak and weak is the last thing that he wants to feel. Now vulnerability doesn't actually mean that one is weak. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Vulnerability is strength. If someone can be vulnerable authentically and powerfully, that can be incredibly courageous. But in this case, he's likely avoiding his vulnerability and thus prolonging the journey for himself of processing and becoming more aware of himself. So your connection with him is probably sparking confusion, irritation, it feels unfamiliar to him. He probably doesn't understand the connection and he's probably losing a sense of his own identity. Whenever we're growing at a rapid pace, we lose sense of who we are so that we can find a deeper aspect of who we are. You've probably opened wounds within himself that he has tried to hide away and really forget permanently. And now that those are coming up, it's really scary. Who you are likely really pushes his buttons emotionally and he doesn't necessarily like that because in that state he feels like he's out of control and the masculine likes to be in control. He likes to know who he is. He likes to know exactly what he's doing. Your connection brings up a lot of fear within himself and he does not want to feel fear. So for that reason, he might be leading you on because he's not ready to let you go. So he's pushing you away and almost pulling you in at the same time. And that's really the energy of breadcrumbing. It's it's not a full commitment. It's the opposite of commitment. Part of himself wants you around while another part of him does not want you around. So it's very confusing. So ultimately he probably needs to go into solitude. He needs to go into his cave for a while to process his emotions, to figure himself out. You do you, let him do him. He needs to find his center, find his identity on his own and to discover if he really wants you in his life or not. If you two really love each other, then just be compassionate because the emotions that are coming up for him 
can be really scary and really painful at times. So if you are spending a lot of time wondering, wishing, waiting, wanting to know for sure if this is the right man for you or not, or if you need to let him go, then maybe the 22 signs of Twin Flame Reunion checklist could help you out. My wife Amanda and I have put this checklist together to identify exactly the things to look for in your ideal mate, your Twin Flame life partner. So if you want to download this checklist, it's free. All you need to do is click the link below. Honestly, the best thing to do if he is breadcrumbing you is to let him go, let him have his space, let him be alone, let him figure himself out. Otherwise, if you keep giving him your energy, if you keep buying into this connection, when he's not treating you right, when he's just breadcrumbing you, he's just leaving little bits in, of connection for you while you're so hungry for more, that's not serving either of you. He needs time to realize that it's not you that he's running from, it's himself. And sometimes the masculine needs to realize the consequences of his own actions. And he can only figure that out on his own. So once he figures things out on his own, and if he still loves you, then he will return. And how can you know when they've awakened? Well, for one, he will stop breadcrumbing you and he will be emotionally available. He will be able to communicate clearly with you and he will be honest with you. You'll also know because you'll be able to meet with him in person and he will be able to hold eye contact with you without looking away or distracting himself. You'll know that he's awakened if he has healed his old addictions such as alcohol, cigarettes, porn, hooking up with lots of people, just vegging out on the TV all day, eating terrible food. His presence will feel grounded, strong, and secure. And so you will feel safe in his presence. He will be able to actually listen to you and stay present with you, even if you have things that are emotionally triggering. He will be comfortable with his own emotions and he will be able to communicate his emotions to you. You will ultimately feel safe with the connection with him and you won't have a lot of fear that he's gonna abandon you. So if you really want to speed up this process, then check out the 22 signs of Twin Flame Reunion checklist. You can check that out in the description box below. You can go through the 22 signs so that you can find clarity. Thanks so much for watching this video. Namaste, namasko.